Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. This is not going to be focusing on Unity today. We're going to try something a little bit different. So I'm going to sort of show you the sort of ins and outs of Unreal Engine 4 and the differences that we might find between Unity and this engine. Now, this is a slight differentiation that I usually do do Unity. Now, I thought if you've ever wanted to get into Unreal 4 because um, I don't know if they had a little battle and made both engines, Unity 5 and um, Unreal Engine 4, they became free so it's readily available for everybody obviously unreal is a bit more taxing but other than that um, it's pretty straightforward to use and it has a lot of similarities with unity so I'll go through those you know, to help everybody out if they wanted to have a little experiment so initially when you start up the epic games sort of unreal launcher you'll get this sort of interface and it's slightly different to unity in a sense that you get the marketplace you can find how to learn how to use it you can use unreal um, and you can look at their games that epic games will be bringing out in the future now on your library down here you might have things that you've downloaded from the marketplace and up here is where you'll be able to launch your version of unreal 4 now I've got it to the latest version so all you need to do is just click on launch and once you've clicked on launch obviously it's going to load up the editor and once you've launched the editor it's going to be again very similar to Unity 5 you can open an old, pro um, an old project that you may have been working on or you can look at opening a brand new project within the actual editor itself now it comes with a few different things Obviously, if you follow my tutorials, we've always looked at JavaScript and maybe a tiny bit of C Sharp. Now, Unreal or the Unreal Engine does it in either C Sharp if it's going to be written scripting, or it uses blueprints as a sort of visual scripting where you connect nodes to each other. Now, I'm still learning along with you guys, so it's a nice sort of step in this direction. Now, with the blueprints, that's sort of your best way to start because if you're not 100% competent on writing script. Um, you can use the blueprints and that's a, a nice handy way to get started so it's got a whole host of different scenes that you can start where with, whether it's with a first person flying puzzle uh, creating a roller ball different types of probably 2d platformer sort of games and all that so if we click on first person cause, and it'll give you a little sort of brief description of what it's going to add to begin with then you can choose what uh, output you want it to be what quality and if you want to include the starter pack which will include some models and some assets and things like that to get you started now down here you can choose where to save your file and you can choose what to name it now I'll just create a project so now we're sort of looking at the initial workspace of um, Unreal Engine 4 now you may think wow this looks a bit crazy but realistically if you break it down into what you might have remembered in Unity and things like that um, you might be quite happy with how it looks you're going to be able to do the similar sort of things you hold alt you and hold left clip and you can just sort of rotate the camera around you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel if you use the hold the right mouse click you can again look around with the camera if you hold alt and hold your middle mouse button in you can sort of pan around and look around the scene but that's just basic controls that you could probably work out yourself on the left hand side here we've got the different um, actors that we can bring in so it's like the different game objects and things we could bring in with unity so we could bring in a cube a sphere whatever we need to bring in into our scene down here is where we'd have all our assets so so it'd be the project panel where we can bring things in so we can have folders and import new assets into there all you have to do is click import to bring new things in I'll actually make, maybe be making another tutorial to show you how to import assets and bring them in and create materials but this is just a brief overview of everything that's going on you can just do the same click on your objects in your um, scene view really then on this right hand side if you imagine this being your hierarchy with everything that's in your game you can create folders which is slightly easier than in unity you have to make an empty game object but these are classed as folders you can create right click and create new subfolders new folders here if you select an object um, in unity on the right hand side it was the inspector but this is details about the particular object choosing what material that it has physics and anything you need to deal with there there's a lot of, again, if we go back to the left-hand side, we've got lights, effects, 
volumes for triggers and such we've got a few things up at this top main bar you can go to the marketplace blueprints for your visual scripting um, a matinee as for making cutscenes and such um, building so you, so you can build and run your game play is just to play and test it so if we play and test now you'll notice that I can run around and do whatever we need to do in there you've got a series of actual gizmos at the top so at the top you've got move which is just like as you would expect move it around you've got rotate which is just as you would expect and scale if you've used any sort of game engine or 3d program before you'll be familiar to those um, here you've got your world and local um, axes transforms so if you need to um, look at that you've got snapping which you can enable so if we click that we can enable surface we can have rotation snapping we had to hold control in unity but if we have the snapping you can see it snaps um, every 10 degrees we can adjust all these values by adjusting the values there again you can do the snapping for the scale and you can do grid placement for things that you might want to pull in one last thing really to mention just as this brief overview is to look at the modes at the top so um, you've got here to place all your standard sort of actor abilities here to paint different materials and textures here's one way you'd probably man uh, you'll manage your landscapes or creating a terrain and environments there adding foliage and meshes which you can paint onto your um, terrain and then a geometry editing in case you need to optimize some geometry which is in your game but all in all it's really very similar except there's more sort of user interface actually in your face for the time being so really it's just based around if you imagine if you're used to using unity that imagine it being all your assets towards the bottom your, um, your standard primitive objects on the left the uh, things that you need to do to build, play, test the game up at the top and the things on the right for the inspector and the things that you'd find directly in your scene. So really it's quite straightforward and I'll be doing a few more tutorials to show you how to import and work around with Unreal Engine 4. So hopefully this was helpful to some people. Hopefully everybody can look into making some things in here. So again, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.